All right then. Well, thank you everyone for watching or listening today. Liam Hartry here, new official interviewer for Spartan Promotions, the most brutal bare knuckle fighting organization on the planet, I believe. Bare knuckle pit fighting. And today, that is the one champ for sure. And today, I have a very, very special guest with me. Mr. Curtis Nelson has a massive fight coming up on November 20th. At the time of this interview, that's only a few weeks out as well. Uh, fighting for the lightweight British title on that show. It's going to be an absolutely cracking show all ways around. For all the best because this is fighting on it. So, Champ, I just want to say, first of all, obviously, a big thank you for coming on. Big thank you for making yeah. the time, by the way. No problem. Thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure, mate. Absolute pleasure. Big respect. So, all right then. So, let's get into it. Let's jump right into it. Obviously, we're a few weeks out from the fight now at the time of this interview. So can you walk us through like how your preparations are going, you know, how your training is going and just uh, how everything's going on the build up to the fight, please? Well, right right about now, I'm just trying to concentrate on my weight. I've had to, I've had to put a bit of weight on for this um, title fight. So I'm trying to concentrate on that and just working on a bit of cardio, keep my breath in, in the ring. Obviously, it's like you say, it's, it's, it's the most brutal thing out there right now, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? So takes your breath straight away when you're going in there full at it, do you know what I mean? So just concentrating on a bit of cardio. I do a lot of swimming. Um, yeah, it's going well at the moment. I'm pretty confident. Brilliant. Okay, so obviously, like I say, like I've already said, you know, a few weeks out from the fight, but it's, it's getting close now. So I've got to ask, what's your prediction um, come fight night? How do you think you're going to do? What round do you think you're going to come out of there? Anything yeah, you want to say? I'm taking that belt on first round, mate. Yeah, first round, Absolutely. Yeah. And obviously, winning the British title, uh, now I know obviously every fight with, with Spartan is 50-50, and in all fairness to your opponent, I have to say if you win. Now, you know, I think I think you will, but I've, I've got to say if for the purposes of this. But how do you think you're going to celebrate in terms of, you know, when you bring the belt home, you win the British title, how do you think you're going to be celebrating after that? How do you think you're going to be... Uh, uh, how do you think I'm going to celebrate that one, mate? Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a good night, especially when I come home anyway. I'm sure I'll have uh, plenty of supporters waiting for me with a drink. Yeah, 100% sounds good. So obviously, you know, like with your family and friends and, and that sort of thing, doing, you know, bare knuckle pit fighting, like I say, the, the toughest sport out there, the most brutal sport out there. Obviously, a lot of respect in the game, though. But when you come home from, you know, from a fight or when you're fighting, how are your family and friends, like, in terms of support? Do they worry for you and that? Or are they, like, very supportive? Or, you know? Yeah, well, regarding my mum and uh, my missus, it's definitely very worrying for them. They, they know how dangerous it can be. So, yeah, I definitely get a lot of ear ache from, from this one over here. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely get a lot of ear ache that way. And my mum... My mum barely came and watched my last fight. I think she only came and watched it because I gave her a free ticket. <laughs> but um, yeah, she, she's she's always constantly telling me, I'm not coming to watch, I'm not coming to watch, I can't watch you get beat up. But yeah, hopefully it's not something she has to see just yet. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Good stuff. All right then, so now we've talked a little bit about the future, we've talked about your training, obviously the build-up for the fight. And like I say, it's going to be a cracking show. One final thing before we go to the the past and we're looking at some of the, the fights you've already had obviously with spartan the production value what i mean by that is like every show is getting better and better you know in terms of like the lights the music the crowds you know christian's got this amazing vision like every time i speak to him he's always got like new ideas about new things he can do for the show so in your view how do you anticipate this november 20th show is going to be like in terms of the atmosphere in terms of the crowd like the, the vibe just any aspect like that, if you, if you get what I mean. Yeah, do. Um, yeah, well, basically from my last fight, you know, the amount of the amount of love that I've had after that, the amount, I've had people around the world messaging me from watching my fight. Literally, you know, I'm talking Africa, Jamaica, people just, just at me all over it. I feel a bit semi-famous. <laughs> but um, I, I, I feel like it's going somewhere. But as I told Christian, you know, like from the beginning when he let me on, you know, I'm with Spartan until I die now, do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's for me, you know, all these other fight companies that are going about, I don't think they match it, to be quite fair. You know, even BKB, it's, 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 it's as brutal, but, you know, that, that two, two metre by two metre square ring, there's nowhere to run, do you know what I mean? It's just straight at it all the way. 
winner takes it home, you know. So I, I see a bright future. I definitely see a bright future for Spartan, a future that I'm glad to be a part of. 100%, yeah. And saying, yeah, man, you know, it's on the up and up and it's uh, it's great to be on board with it, 100%. Yeah. All right, then, brilliant. So looking back at a couple of, obviously, your previous fights, I, I want to go back to the beginning a little bit, as soon as you just mentioned that, you know, you were Spartan until you died. But what was it that originally attracted you to, you know, bare knuckle pit fight into Spartan? You know, how did you first get into it in, in the beginning? Such a tough sport. Um... I feel like I just had a lot of anger, do you know what I mean? Like growing up all my life, I've just been a bit of a bit of, bit of a reckless kid, or constantly fighting, done a bit of jail and whatever else, you know. And I, it, it was something to just put my mind on, you know, rather than being a bit unruly all my life. I thought, yeah, we'll just get into this now, and you know, any bit of anger that I've got can get took out in ring, do you know what I mean? It, it has helped me in a way. It definitely helped me calm down. Um, you know, I'm just I've got more of excitement than hanging out, you know, to to the build up to get in the room. Um so yeah, and and you know, to the point where the the help that it gives for everyone else in, in the game as well, do you know what I mean? Like it's not just for it's not just for people like me who kind kinda of live ish normal, do you know what I mean? Not really got much problems going on, but the people that have got a lot of problems, the does does them some good and there's plenty of support there for them as well, do you know what I mean? It does, yeah, it does some good things, Spartan, for people's mind's sake as well, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, big time. It's something I absolutely love about Christian's vision. I mean, it's not a question, but it's just, I agree 100% that, like, it's I've seen it help so many people. I've seen sports in yeah. general help so many people, but Spartan, it's got to be like a, you know, for so many people, it's a shot at turning it around, it's a shot of redemption, it's a shot of healing, whatever yeah, yeah. you know. That outlet See, um, Christian don't turn nobody away do you know what I mean no matter where you come from no matter what form of life you've lived in the past you know it, it'll give you a shot do you know what I mean and you yeah. stick by him or stick by you you know it, it's great to be fair yeah it is it's a brilliant team brilliant family and uh, I'm glad we, you know we get to give that a shout out here today as well yeah absolutely so, a couple of other things with uh, you know with the fights themselves We'll talk a little bit about physical training, but before we get to that, I want to talk a little bit about the mental side because obviously fighting is a, a mental game as well as a physical game. You know, sometimes you see two people, you know, enter the pit or enter the ring, and you can sort of tell who's going to do well and who believes in themselves, who doesn't, you know, things like that. So on yourself personally, like on a build up to a fight, like maybe in a fight week or you know a few weeks out, like now. What's sort of going through your mind? Is it is it sort of building up in your mind or, or, or what sort of process do you go through? Like, do, you know, do you know, even to the point of where I come from, do you know what I mean? It was always one of them things growing up where I've always had to look over my shoulder. So, you know, them them kind of nerves that maybe, let's say, normal people might have. I, I, don't, really, I don't really feel them, to be honest. It's literally till I actually get to the side of the ring where I actually start feeling a bit of nerves, do you know what I mean? And yeah. like I say, the moment I actually get in the ring, they're gone then, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm ready for it, boom, and I think it's just to build me up, you know, like, oh, let's come on, let's grow kind of thing, rather than actually be nervous. But yeah, um, it's, it's definitely exhilarating anyway. It's definitely yeah. exhilarating. Yeah, it's got to be one hell of a buzz, I know that much. Brilliant. So, you know, with your, uh, obviously, your physical training as well. Now, this is one, obviously, you don't want to give too much away here because, obviously, in case your opponent watches this, so I get that. But if there's any little things you can share about what you're doing in terms of, like, road work, bag work, just, like, anything you can give away that doesn't give too much away, if you get where I'm coming yeah. from that one. To, to be quite fair, I've, I've always believed, and I will always believe till I die, you know, it, it don't even it don't matter it don't matter whether you go to the gym every day and train your ass off and you know it definitely does help in a certain aspect but you know like say me growing up in a rough environment you know I got brought up you know you did something wrong you got some lash for it you know what I mean like I've always been a tough kid kind of thing so you know I've always believed that you've either got it or you want do you know what I mean so my training is not really that much extensive I just go to the gym now and again I get on a bag you know I have a half an hour bag, half an hour cardio, half an hour gym, and then I go jump in the swimming pool, you know, but that's like, you know, maybe a couple of times a week or something. I don't really, I don't really put my back into training. Like I say, I've got a lot going on with work and that as well, do you know what I mean? By the time I get home from work, 
you know, it's not actual half six, seven o'clock. And, you know, you probably know yourself, it's, it's tiring stuff, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You come home, you just want to chill, want to go to sleep, wake up for that early hour start. Um, yeah. So it's not really extensive training. But, um, you know, like I said, I've always been, you've either got it or you want. So I believe that in myself when I get in the ring. You know, I, I go in there, like, say, I, I know I've got it. I know I've got it. And I'm going to bring it to the ring and show people that I've got it as well. And, you know, it hasn't failed me yet. And I'm, I'm not planning on letting it fail me. Um, but, you know, there's always something that I could learn, you know, that I'd, I'd like to. It's just having the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it makes total sense. And I, I'm with you on that one, champ, with, you know, people have either got the, the killer instinct or, you know, it's just, it just ain't there. Like, and I've seen that time and time again. And, yeah. you know, you see guys, you see guys that are totally fit and they're ripped. You know, they've got, honestly, like the abs are shred- and they get knocked out, you know, because they just they don't yeah. have that killer. Yeah. They can't just switch it on, that killer instinct, you know. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm with you. I totally get that. That's why I was curious what we were saying earlier about it being a, a big part of it. It's a mental game as well. Yeah, it's a yeah. physical game, you know. Of course, it's even like, you know, it being Spartan, you know, and also say yourself, you probably watch plenty of Spartan movies and, you know, they are born to do a certain thing. They are born to fight for Sparta. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, I kind of like run with that as well. Like, you, you just, I'm born to do it. You know, I love it. My, my mistress tells me, my mum and all that tells me, you know, I'm absolutely mad, I'm crazy. But it's something I enjoy doing. You know what I mean? I enjoy it. Not now in getting enjoyed, get, enjoying getting punched in the face is a thing, but it most definitely is. <laughs> 100%. I love it. Yeah. Brilliant. All right. So, a couple of other things here. Now, when I was researching this and when, when I was sort of getting ready for this and pulling the, the questions together, obviously I looked on your Facebook to get some photos and all that to, to go in this interview. But one yeah. of the things that I came across was obviously your. Uh, recent opponent, Jack McLean, yeah, and obviously made some very strange um, sort of accusations. And I don't really want to go into this to sort of stir the pot or anything like that. Yeah. But I just, you know, first of all, because anyone watching this who doesn't know, um, he said he fought with COVID. Now, if he did fight with COVID, and i got to say, respect for that, because, I mean, getting in there, you know, is hard enough. Never mind getting in there, like with the Delta variant, and being dizzy yeah. and having a fever and all that. So, first of all, I say respect to Jack on that. But some of the other stuff, because he said that, you know, you uh, and your cousin Jay Smith, obviously he's a well-known, well-respected fighter as well. You poisoned Jack's water. He was saying your dad pay him 10 grand to, you know, to yeah. uh, stop the fight and all that. I mean, what do you make of all that? Where do you think he's coming from? What, what do you think is happening with, with, with all that? That, that, that to me is just absolutely mental. Do you know what I mean? Like, I even messaged, I said, I says, come on, mate, you've lost your mind. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd wear, I wouldn't even know where to get poison for a start. <laughs> and yeah. then my dad, you know, it wouldn't even give me 10 grand, never mind for giving someone else. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely crazy talk, mate. Absolutely crazy talk. You know, it's just coming with excuses and reasons to why he lost the fight. Why he lost the fight is because no matter what, he was not ready for the Spartan ring. You know, same as the situation I'm talking. You can go and train and train and train, go in that boxing, because he's actually a boxer. I've not done no all my life of this, do you know what I mean? Like, I've, like I said, I've had a rough upbringing, I've been in and out of prison, you know. I've, on, on the where I live, it's, it's it's just absolutely mad, full of gangs and people trying to get you and look, you know, be sure they're fighting you there and everywhere. So I've been doing it all my life, do you know what I mean? And it's not fighting as I'm getting in the ring. It, it's proper violence, do you know what I mean? And to go into the Spartan ring, to be fair, you have to be a violent person. Because, like, it is brutal. You have to be a violent person. And, you know, he's he's probably had a, a, a decent-ish upbringing. I don't really know him. I don't know whether he has or not. But in my eyes, he seems like one of them guys who, you know, possibly had a decent upbringing. You know, he, he probably does go train a lot and go to the gym. But, like I said, if you ain't got it in you, you ain't got it in you. And he, he didn't have it in him. I, from the moment I walked onto that field, I spoke to him. I said, you ready for this, mate? And you, you could just, like you said, you can see in a man's face. And I've seen in his face straight away, you just not was not ready for it, you know. And I was ooming ready to go, do you know what I mean? Like, you just, I just, I, I caught him out from the beginning, mate. He wasn't ready for that. He was always going to lose that fight. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It's a good insight as well. And with this, I'd like to give little insights that the fans don't necessarily see. I mean, I know people have seen like what he said, but, you know, people see the fight and everything and they don't know who's behind the scenes and this and that. So it's, it's a good little 
little insight for people who don't know. Um, yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah, fair play. Well, you know, I hope he comes back and proves people wrong and just proves. Yeah, it fair, fair news to the guy, you know, in his situation about being a bit ill and whatever you, you know, he got in that ring. Big respect to him, do you know what I mean? Big respect for him, even the way the fight was going, for him to step up and carry on, you know, big respect yeah. to the guy, and even for him to come back to Spartan Wars, you know, and so it's a big thing. It takes mm. a lot. It, do, it does. It takes. It takes a lot of guts to get in that ring. Even my dad, like, I've grown up with my dad and my dad's always been the man, do you know what I mean? And he'll even still turn around to me and say, oh, I won't do that. <laughs> he won't catch me in that ring, do you know what I mean? And I wouldn't have even thought I'd hear that from my dad, so I must be I must be crazy. <laughs> but, I, but I love it, do you know what I mean? So it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man, you got to know what you do. Life is too yeah, short. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. It'd be even better if I could create a future for my kids and that, do you know what I mean? Like, it's something that I definitely look to do in anyway, but you know, right now I'm enjoying it anyway, so it don't matter, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you on that, 100%. All right then, so a couple more things with fights that you've had before that I'm going to be curious to, to get into for the fans is obviously people always love to hear about toughest fights. I mean, toughest fights is a question that probably comes up in every interview. And obviously, I know obviously you've been fighting your whole life, so for all I know, your toughest fight may have been somewhere else other than with Spartan. But focusing in on Spartan so far, I mean, they're all pretty tough fights, but what, what's been the toughest so far for you? What would you is there one that stands out? Maybe well, that, one of- with, with, with Spartan, I've only had the two fights. Um, yeah. The first guy, um, I can't remember, what was, his, what was his name? I can't remember the first guy's name, but... He, uh, yeah, Jack Jack Cooper. Yeah, so, something like that. Jake Cooper or something like that. But, um, you know, even then, like, that, that was just unbelievably easy, you know. And then I go, I, I come up against Jack McLean, and it was a it, it was a bit more of a fight for me. Do you know what I mean? Because the first fight, yeah, I just basically battered him, and I don't yeah. really like that myself. Do you know what I mean? Where you just just battering someone, I'd rather someone actually fight me back, you know. Then I feel like I've actually won this fight. But um, yeah, Jack 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 McLean definitely definitely put up against me. You know, I don't I don't believe it was a match for me. I really don't believe it was a match for me, but it, it, it did it did put up a fight. You know, he, he tried his best in it, you know what I mean? And that's what counts. But yeah, yeah, Jack was definitely running up to his death and the, the, the most difficult fight I've had so far. 100% cool. All right, then. But yeah, like I say, it's, it's a tough one to pick out of the two. And I was thinking that when I said it, but I thought time and time again, the fans, they love to hear about, you know, which one was the toughest. So yeah, fair play, I'm giving that a mention. Another thing that, that I think people are curious about, now when I do this with the interviews, where yeah, I try and pick questions for people who know Spartan, they know Ben and all that, and people who don't, right? Because if there's people who they don't know about it and they're watching this and they're thinking, what is this? And they're like just getting into it. I try and pick one or two questions for those. So for all the people that don't know, yeah, when it comes to training, and I know I know you said you haven't done a lot of it with, you know, you, you've got it in you or you haven't, but still, when it comes to on the bag and that, you do all that gloves or do you do that like bare knuckle with the gloves off or... I don't, I don't even put wraps on. I just, I just do it with my hands. Yeah, obviously, I believe little like <laughs> growing up as a kid and that, like watching Bruce Lee, you know, Jet Li, all that, you know, watching them jab on trees and stuff like that. You know, I, I believe it strengthens your hands. So I don't bother with gloves me when I'm training. I just use my hands. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. It's something that I think people find really fascinating, especially as bare knuckle pit fighting is getting bigger and bigger. And more people are curious because there was a time when I, I would speak to a lot of guys, not just with Spartan now, but with like a lot of the other BKB companies, like even if it's in the ring or whatever, and they would all do stuff gloved. Whereas now you're getting more and more guys actually training bare knuckle, and it's like you've sort of seen that shift. You get what I mean? And it's just, yeah, yeah. yeah it's something interesting to touch on. Brilliant then. So, all right then. So, the last couple of things. Now, obviously, I believe with your fighting career, the best is, is yet to come. Or I mean, obviously, winning titles, going on the up and up. We haven't seen the best of you. Hello. Say hiya. Yeah. Hiya. <laughs> what have you done? She's pressed some more on me before. Oh, that's all right. She's gorgeous, man. How old? She's one. Is it one? Yeah, yeah. One and three months. She's gone yeah. back to mummy now. <laughs> oh, he's gorgeous, champ. A family is the ultimate blessing, isn't it? The ultimate blessing yeah, in life. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Like I, I said, I, I don't know where I'd be, you know. I didn't have... 
my kids around me. This day, do you know what I mean? Like they definitely ch- uh, turned my life around for the better. Yeah. yeah, I love that. I love that. And funny enough, that's something that, that ties into you know this next question. There's only a couple more things anyway, and it's this next question sort of ties into family in a way, but in a different way. Obviously, like I'm saying, you know, you the best is yet to come. I think you're obviously winning the titles, going on the up and up. But still, so far, you've done a lot with getting in there, you know, winning the fights for one and all that. It's still, you know, a lot that you've achieved. So when it comes to, like, the younger generation of fighters, and what I mean by that now is that if you've got, like, proper young guns coming in there, like 15, 16, 17 or whatever, and they want to get into boxing or they want to get into burn up or whatever, or, you know, they want to do well, looking back on it now, and maybe kids who come from the same sort of background as yourself and everything like that, and they want to do well in, in some type of combat sport, you know, if it's Spartan, if it's something else, what would you sort of say to them as, like, some advice, you know, that you could give them of, like, succeeding, you know, things they can do to do well, um, and, like, sort of following your footsteps? Because I, I think you're an inspiration to a lot of people, you know, if you get around, like, how you turn yeah, life around. I appreciate around. that, yeah, I appreciate that. Um, you, me, personally, you know, I just say, you know, believe in yourself, you know, no matter who you're up against, don't ever, ever, ever doubt yourself. Don't ever doubt your opponent. Don't ever doubt yourself. You know, always believe in yourself. And work hard. You'll get there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. And it's a powerful lesson. And, you know, because you turn it around, I like to give that a mention because if there's people who was in the same situation, like, you know, they're still in that situation now where you're growing up in or whatever, if they hear that little bit of advice or, you know, Curtis turned it around, like, you know, he got out of there, like, maybe I can too. And I just yeah. like to give that, you know, well, I think, but, but if, if I've helped someone out there, that would make my day, do you know what I mean? Of course it would, absolutely. You know, I, I like I say, with the, the way I got brought up and that, the, the things I've been through in life, you know, it's not something that you really want anyone else to go through. But if I, if I, can, if I can turn someone's life around with that, you know, I love it, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, I, I think you can, and I think you do, to be fair. And there's, there's a few of the lads at Spartan, but I really think you guys show people, like I say, what's possible. So, you know, it's, it's good to give that a mention. So the last couple of things uh, before we wrap up is sort of um, one of them is going back to the future, and then there's one or two other things. Yeah, the last couple of things then, going back to the future, yeah. This one is like about where you see Spartan going over the next, you know, the next few years, the next two years, the next five years. Obviously, they've grown massive from where it started to where it is now. And earlier today, I was on the phone to Christine. He was telling me about he's got this idea and he's got that, and he's got he's lining up these top people. So, where do you think it can go? Like over the next the next few years, where do you see Spartan going over that sort of time frame? I've got all the faith in Christian. All the faith in Christian is doing a brilliant job, you know. And if he keeps it up the way he's doing, I, I believe, you know, and I know he believes it himself that we will be the biggest company out there. For, for for the bare knuckle pit fight anyway, I really do. I think I, I've got I've got a positive future for Spartan in mind, most definitely. Brilliant. And then the last thing, pretty much, is is obviously just as a quick shout out actually for your um, fans and your supporters. And basically, the question is where I'm going with this. People watching this now who've supported your career so far, and I'm talking about honest, loyal supporters in now, not people who. You know, like when you do well, they're there. When you're not doing well, they're gone. All that. Forget, forget about that. But the ones who are the proper people who are like with you, you know, all the way and they support you, like the, those sorts of fans. Obviously, if any of them are watching this, what would you say to them? What would be some words you'd say to them? Like, you know, your top fans, your loyal fans and, and supporters. It'd simply be thank you for being there, would it? Thank you for supporting and believing in me as as well. Do you know what I mean? Like. Everyone needs that, don't they? They need some some people. Like I say, I get I, I got a lot of love and a lot of support from my last fight, and I appreciate everyone who popped up to me. You know, yeah, big big thank you, big shout out to all them people. Yeah, I don't feel like I could have got somewhere without them. You know, people believe in you, helps you believe in yourself a lot more as well, doesn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, big time. I love to give them a shout out because obviously, you know, without the fans, the sport is, is nothing and obviously each fighter doesn't get to, you know, where they get to. So it's good to give them a shout out as well. Absolutely. But Chuck, yeah. I mean, we've talked about some good stuff, mate. I mean, we've gone into the future, we've gone into the past. Um, I honestly believe the future is 
very bright for you and uh, 110 percent you know not just saying i really believe that you know you've got that talent and i appreciate it i really do yeah mom yeah i take you all the way man so last thing for me to say is like i said at the beginning just a big thank you for coming on big thank you for taking time out in the evening and uh appreciate no it problem. Mate. no problem at all thank you for having me